Hey everyone, welcome back to this brand new video uploading here on the channel of Game Time Life. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the rare gun holster for the male character working off the late patch of 1.46. Now this gun holster outfit, I basically added my own twist to it, so that means I created my own outfit with it, as you might have seen on the thumbnail. So I'm going to be doing my own full outfit, but I will just show you the components and I will show you the tops that are compatible to get yourself the gun holster. So let's get straight into the tutorial. Now first of all, this has been done with the creator outfit transfer glitch. So that means all of your current outfits on the male character will be deleted and you have to delete your second female character. So if you're not familiar with the creator outfit transfer glitch, don't worry, I will explain a bit in this video, but I also have a helpful link in the description box down below, showing you step by step how to do the creator outfit transfer glitch. So you can follow the steps from that video, and as soon as you came to the point where you have to do components, just simply do the components for the gun holster and the other outfits that you want to do. So I'm just going to be showing you the components if you want the outfit from the thumbnail, then just copy what I am doing here in the video. So first of all, we need to get those cool biker suit gloves. I also have a video tutorial up in that. So I will also leave that in the description box down below. So first of all, go to the pants section on your second female character. Go to the sports pants and put on the spotted muscle pants. Now these will allow us to like merch or um, team pants. Okay, so now you want to make your way over to the top section. Make sure you go to the leather jackets and put on the blue GC jackets. This one will be the biker suit top components. Now you want to scroll over to the tank top then you want to put on the two tone tank just to make sure that the biker suit top transfers. Now for the shoes, we're immediately going to be putting on the shoe components. So I'm going to the sports shoes and put on the blue sports shoes. So now for the hat, I added a checkerboard backwards hat, so for that put on a 247 forward faced cap. Now as soon as you've done all these steps, you want to save this gloves outfit on slot number 1, then we're moving over to the second one. So for this one, we are going to be turning back over to the top section, and this is where actually the gun holster components are coming in. So for the gun holster components, I'm doing it with a tux polo shirt like you have seen on the thumbnail. So for that you want to first of all put on the gun holster components, so for that you want to scroll over to the gun running t-shirts and you want to put on the blue digital t-shirt. Now this one will be the gun holster components components, and it is compatible with like different sorts of tops. I will tell you the different sort of tops where it is um, compatible with. You can do this with the tucket polo shirts components. The coverall tops, um, the like black heist hoodie, I, because that one is also like a leather jacket and components. And you can do it with like the leather fur jackets. I don't think that looks very nice, but those are the compatible tops in order to do it with the gun holster. So choose whichever top component that you want and to do it with. So now once you get yourself the gun holster components and you have chosen the top, make sure you put the top component on. So for the grey tux polo shirts, uh, grey tux polo shirt, we're going to be putting on the Ash Closet Fields Work Jacket. So once you've got these top components on, you want to move back over to where the accessory section is located. You want to go to the gloves and put on the Light Woodland Tactical Gloves to merge the racing gloves. Now this is basically outfit number 2, make sure you save it right underneath outfit number 1, just like that. As soon as you get both the outfits save it, then you're good to go. Just simply put on a standard outfit and now do the creator outfit transfer glitch to transfer it all over. Now I will quickly explain to you how uh, you want to do that. You want to walk outside and simply make your way over to creator. Inside creator you want to grab yourself a published or save it race or else just simply create one. And then you want to test the race. So if you haven't created it yet and you are creating one, make sure that you test the race, then you want to save it, then you want to test it again, and with your save it race you have to test it once. As soon as the test is completed, you want to accept the alert, 
then just press pause go to the online tab go to choose character and you want to delete the second female character then you want to hit circle to return back over to story mode as soon as it is deleted and then back inside story mode return back to a gta 5 online session and that is basically how to create your outfit trust for glitch works like it's really easy anyone can do this like i said video link will be up in the description box down below so I'm quickly going to transfer them over and then I'll see you guys back in a second. So I'm back here on the male character and as you can see both of my outfits successfully have transferred over. So what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm quickly going to be merging my gloves so I can like put that on the outfit and just make it look a little bit better. So if you're doing the same outfit as me you must put on the grey team pants in the nearest clothes store. And you do not want to save it, you just simply want to leave it on and just make your way over to the Crooked, jo crooked Cop versus mode. Now if you want to use different joggers or whatever, you can do that, you can merge every pen that you want. So just do for yourself what you want. So I'm going in with the grey team pants. Now on Crooked Cop, if you are here at the setting screen, all you have to do is set clothing over to player own it. As soon as it is set to player own it, you simply want to invite some players. Now, I didn't invite anyone yet, they just started joining, so I'm good. Just wait till you gather with some players and then you want to launch up Crooked Cup. So on the screen right here, you want to scroll over to where you see own it outfit, it will be set over to current. All you have to do is simply go once to the right to put on the very first outfit and you want to hit ready to play and just take this outfit straight inside of Crooked Cop. So inside Crooked Cop we want to go ahead and just simply save this outfit. So do not put on some gloves, all you have to do is hold down the touchpad, go to style, go to accessories and just simply go once to the left or go once to the right to put on a rebreather. It doesn't matter the hat because we have it on the second outfit. So as soon as you've applied a earpiece or a rebreather, you're good to go. All you have to do is just pull up the phone and quit Crooked Cop and wait until you spawn back in a new session. So as soon as you are back here, you want to make your way back over to where the clothing store is located. You want to go back to the accessories, go over to the gloves and all you have to do is just find yourself the race suit gloves. Now as soon as you found the race suit gloves, you want to hit X on it and then you have your racing suit gloves together with your pair of pants that you want to merge. Now as soon as you get this ready, you want to override the very first outfit slot with this save it outfit. So as soon as you get it save it, you want to make sure that you have bought a earpiece. So that's what I'm going to be doing real quickly right now. Because we have like the hat on the outfit and to make sure that it saves, we must need a earpiece. So I'm quickly going over to the emanation to grab myself an earpiece and then all you have to do is just simply return back over to that Crooked Cop mission. So as soon as you are back on Crooked Cop, the uh, job is all launched back up, clothing was set to player own it and you're back here. Go back over to own it outfit, go once to the right and nothing should basically change. And just simply go once to the right again and then you should see like the belt all merged on. And it should also have the gun next hanging to it. Now what it actually did is it didn't give me my grey polo top because it actually was a merging top component. So that means the tuck polo shirts are currently merging top components. So you should also have like your black t-shirt merged with that. So that means you have to do like different tops to like get the gun holster together with the paramedic spells. But this is basically how it is looking at the moment. You should see the gun belts and on the side you should also have the gun holster together with it. So if you have applied that top and if you see the gun belt or holster then you did everything all correctly. So now from this point to save it all up, hold down the touchpad, you want to go to style, go to accessories, go once to the left and just simply put on your earpiece. Now as soon as the earpiece is applied, pull up the phone and just quit the job again. And as soon as you spawn back in a online session, then you can now just simply save up the outfit and add accessories to it that you want. So what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm quickly just going to be removing my earpiece and then I'm just going to be saving this outfit up. 
Now what I also have is I have a pair of black joggers so I will just take a look at the outfit with the black joggers and then decide which one I'll choose. But I really like this with like the grey um, team pants with it and this is basically the paramedics belt gun holster components and this is what it looks like. Now I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have created the outfit that you want together with the gun holster and the paramedics belts then I'm glad I could help you out with this. Now if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comment section below and I'll make sure to reply to you as quickly as I can. So please like if it worked for you, subscribe to the channel of Game Time Live for more glitches and videos and turn on post notifications to get informed with the latest uploads. And I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye everyone!